Okay, here we are at Sheep Camp 2014. Just pulled in oh, about an hour or two ago, getting camp set up here at uh, what we're calling, I guess, Eric's Mountain. Here's camp being set up. And then I look up on the mountain here. And, uh,. Where'd they go? There. We have two uh, sheep, or two rams. The one on the right is full curl. A nice one. And I'm about 500 yards from him right now. <laughs> oh, I'm trying not to make too much movement and too much noise down here in camp, but boy, it's tough. And you got sheep right here, not far. Pretty exciting. It's August 4th, so uh, we're going to be a few more days, six more days before we can hunt. So it makes it a little harder because you don't know if that ram's going to stick around on this mountain for six more days, especially with want flying in the hunters on August 7th, this, which will be Thursday. And, uh, and we'll be setting up camp for these guys. And I guess we'll just do our best to try to keep things uh, in, as inconspicuous as possible. Oh, well, there we go. Well, I woke up this morning to a visitor. Near camp here. Hopefully he didn't scare the sheep away. I have not seen any sheep on this side of the mountain now. Oh well. That's part of being up in sheep camp. This grizzly must have scared that full curl ram off the mountain because I couldn't find him for several days. I kept looking for him and hoping he would show up for the opening of sheep season, which was on the 10th of August. In spite of some bad weather, Mont was able to get my hunter, Doug Rosa, and his um, son, Chris, into camp on the 9th of August, the day before this, uh, the season opened. That evening, we decided to head out and spend the night on the mountain if necessary. On the way up the mountain, we were excited to find the ram I had videoed earlier on the 4th. So meet my hunter from 2014. This is Doug Rosa. He's from Colorado. He was a great guy to hunt with. He also brought his son Chris along on this hunt. Well, it's uh, August 9th, the night before opening day. Doug here looking at a legal ram. At least we think he is across the way here. There's Chris. Yeah, he's just right over there. I'm going to try to put this on the tripod and zoom in. We tried getting above this ram, but we got hung up in some rocks, so we had to come back down to the same elevation as this ram. We waited all night for him, and then at about 
3.30 in the morning, we got up and stalked our way to within about 330 yards. Okay, it's opening morning. We just spent the night out on the mountain. And uh, we made a stalk over to these rams. We're within about 300 yards. Hey there, Chris. And uh, we got the shooter up here, ready to take a shot. So I'm gonna peek up over and see if I can get some footage of this. Yeah, let me take a look. He's ready to shoot. Are you ready to shoot? doll sheep you got your doll ram right there buddy <laughs> nice shot holy crap that was easy holy smokes i can't believe they stayed there i was wondering. i was i was kind of worried they they i'm glad you kept pushing me because i was getting nervous <laughs> what do you think chris Siwash, that's what they call when you spend the night out on the mountain without any gear, really. It's called the Siwash. That was good, that was fun. <laughs> Holy smokes. We're a little tired, though. Yeah. We didn't get much sleep. I don't know if my hair will be man. I do not look like the bird would say. It's amazing how comfortable the cliff can be at 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Shaking when you took the shot. No, I was cold. It's gonna be when I took the shot. Now I'm shaking. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it's done right there. What is it? It is 5:20 on opening morning. <laughs> That's how we do it right there. <laughs> Just go sleep in the sheep. I slept in a sheep bed, so that it was good luck to sleep in a sheep. Bed. Oh yeah, they had that. You had that sheep would smell I all over you. I was locked up all night. <laughs> right over down that way. I'm at the base of that, right down there. I was getting ready and you shot. I didn't know you were shooting. What, how, what's the yardage there? It's about 300? 310. 310? Awesome. Look at that beautiful sunset. <whistles> or sun, sunrise, I meant. Man, this was an awesome place to spend the night. I'll tell you what. Huh? Last night we didn't get much sleep, but it sure was quite the adventure. And it was really beautiful. The sheep's over there. Now it's gonna take a little while to get over there to him. <laughs>
Night on the mountain. Night on the cliffs. Sleeping on the cliffs. Alright. Doug and Chris. What do you think, Doug? Uh, what do you think? Awesome. It's a beautiful ram. Wow, he's beautiful. Wow, look at all those growth rings. Holy smokes. That's an old ram. Because <laughs> I've been worried though. That is a beautiful oh, old yeah. ram. Oh, look at that. Okay. I'd say you got his lungs pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, you pretty much destroyed those lungs. He's full girl. Isn't he? Easily full girl. <laughs> left side comes up a lot further than I thought. I was thinking it was the right side of the one that came up, but boy. We was watching his right. Yeah. His left side comes up really yeah, nice. Look how rough they are. Let's see here. I'm going to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, at least nine. Maybe ten-year-old ram right there. Cool. He's beautiful. He's got character too. Look at all these little dings and stuff yeah. right there. That is a beautiful ram. That's a great hunt. Yeah. Sleep on the mountain. Great stock. First time ever in Alaska. Walked all right? the way to the top. Got hung up. Had to come back. It all worked out. <laughs> yeah, we did. We got hung up up there. We couldn't get across that ridge like we were hoping. We were wanting to try to sneak up above them, up above in these rocks. We got hung up in those rocks right over there. Could not get around them. So we had to drop way down. We actually spent the night just behind those rocks over there and we dropped way down and then came over this morning and made the shot from right there. Right in there. So, uh, yeah, pretty awesome hunt, huh? Oh, amazing. Man. Wonderful country. Went too quick, do you, man? <laughs> You kind of regretting taking this so early on the hunt, or you? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. I don't know how many of, more of those climbs I had in me. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure I'd have kept going, but. Yeah. Yeah, that that uh, that bullet you you hand loaded, boy, it did the trick. It didn't exit, did it? It shouldn't have. Let's see. I was wondering if it did exit is why he uh Which way was he he was laying the other way. He was going the other yeah, way. Yeah, so no, it, it it didn't exit. They're not supposed to if you It just went in there and exploded those lungs. They'll act is what's weird is they'll actually exit at really long distance because they don't expand if, Oh no kidding. If they're like two thousand feet per second. Which wow. That gun shoots uh thirty one fifty at hundred and eighty grain bullet. Wow. That's awesome. Get him cleaned up, then we'll get some pictures. Well, here we are back at camp later on on the opening day evening. Ram horns in camp. That's always a cool thing to see. But, uh, yeah, we got in here around noon today after being up on the mountain. We were way, uh, way up there. In fact, you can see the gut pile. I think that's it right there. With it's got a big golden eagle on the gut pile right now. We're watching to see if the bears or wolves or wolverines show up. I had a roll wolverine as I was cleaning some meat earlier. It was just I was cleaning the meat right here in this with this creek, and the wolverine was right there trying to check out the meat. And then it ran off. Anyway, having a good time here at camp. Beautiful weather. Pretty rare to get good weather like this up here. We spent the night up in, somewhere up in there last night.
Well, it's the day after I got the sheep and back in camp. Sheep ribs over a cooked over a fire here. Oh, they're getting a little too done because they keep flaring up with all the fat on them. 